Subis is rushed to the vets and sedated for an emergency examination and possible C-section. A cesarean section is it's, it's a major procedure, but if we feel that the mother is potentially at risk and or the baby, um, that, that is an option that we have at our disposal. The vets give Subis an ultrasound to check on the baby. There wasn't actually a sign of any baby at all. We weren't expecting it, the vets weren't expecting it. You, you just thought there was going to be this baby there, and there just wasn't. At that point, it was apparent that there was no, there was no baby within, within the womb, at which point we're like, OK, what's happened? You stand there, mouth open, not quite believing actually what, what you're being told. She physically looked pregnant, did a pregnancy test that was positive. There, there should be a baby there. Further investigations indicate that Subis was pregnant and has given birth already. Now some of the placenta is still inside her, causing a dangerous infection but it was probably why she was showing this discomfort and sort of being in pain um, and just not being her normal, normal self. Subis is transferred to the recovery room and put on medication to help her pass the placenta and get rid of the infection. But what happened after she gave birth is a mystery. It's one of those moments where your mind sort of starts ticking over at like 100 miles an hour. You're just like, well, what's happened? Um, where, where is the baby? The team carry out an emergency search of the orangutan habitat. It is so unusual because Subis has been such a good mum. If she had given birth, even if the baby had died, that she would still actually be carrying it. But then anything could have happened, so it's just a case of checking all outside and having a good look round, is there a baby out there? Um, everyone checks and, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing turned up. It's part of our job to be a bit of a detective and piece together what exactly has happened. So you kind of start thinking, right, OK, well, this is a million to one odds, but has Emma taken Subis's baby? Keepers think that Subis's sister, Emma, might still be pregnant and that the baby she is looking after is not hers. Perhaps Subis had a really bad labour and just had to like, leave the baby there. Emma has always been an amazing mum and so she's taken over the role of caring for this baby instead of Subis. I mean, as a scenario of things to happen, I mean, literally, it's, it's you know, it's, it's lottery winning odds. It's highly, highly unusual, highly unusual. But these animals are, are so, you know, intelligent and emotionally intelligent. Um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't surprise me um, that they're, they're, they're capable of, of that kind of empathy and that high level of thinking. But now there's a worry about what will happen when Subis returns home from the sick bay. At this stage, you're kind of not ruling anything out because already the situation as, it, as it's occurred is just kind of a bit mind-blowing. You're kind of not ruling out that Subis may take the baby back. Anything can happen now. I'm never ruling anything out again. <laughs>